Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 medieval multiplayer battle. This is a ranked paired match against Blaze 80 with the Byzantine 1042 list versus the German 1050 list. In terms of force deployment for this match, we are bringing uh, two of the Klibanoferoi, two of the Knights and Sergeants. We are forced to bring two of the Byzantine Lancers, which is totally fine. That's probably about the amount that I would want anyway. He can go fairly... Uh, not really. He can't really go cavalry heavy here. He could bring, like, max 8 knights, but if he... Or max 10 knights, but if he does that, we're just going to shoot him to pieces with our units. So I'm not particularly worried about if he decides to do that. More worrying is the sheer amount of foot that the uh, German list is able to bring at this point in time, including a lot of projectile units. In anticipation of that, I have maxed most of my light foot, uh, brought four of the uh, Nomad Horse Archers, four of the Light Nomad Horse Archers, and a Trebuchet. Brought one of the Varangian Guard for the memes, of course, as you do when playing the Byzantines. We have uh, four units of the Ross Katatoian Archers and one full unit of these Katatoian Archers. In terms of deployment, we are going rather heavy on our left flank here. We've got two of the uh, Klibanophroi over here, as well as... Uh, two knights and sergeants covering this section here. I don't want to leave any part of my line particularly unsupported, but definitely the main thrust of our force is going to be over here on this flank. Uh, that's also why we put the light horse archers over here. Now, that said, our right flank isn't completely defenseless. We've got a pretty good delaying force here with the Roscutatoian archers as well as the Byzantine lancers. Now, one reason I didn't really bring a lot of the uh, Scutatoin archers is that, in my opinion, they're primarily an anti-cavalry unit with the 50% uh, bow capability, and as he isn't potentially going to be bringing very much of that, I didn't see much of a use for these except to use in a delaying action. And that's what we're going to roll with, and we'll see how it works. Next turn. Alright, let's see the deployment here. We have a ton of these armored spearmen and dismounted knights and sergeants. Let's see, only one, two, one defensive spear, one rod spear. A lot of crossbowmen. Both archers and one, two, three, four, five, six knights. With four lights. Now, just looking at the initial deployment here, I think it's pretty clear that, uh, we're going to be able to swing on this left flank pretty easily. And in the meantime, it would probably be advisable for us to delay contact on the right just because of the presence of the dismounted knights and sergeants. Now we do have two units of row knights and of uh, mounted knights and sergeants that could potentially zone out these pretty well. So we'll be looking into doing that for sure. Uh, and let's just go ahead and bring the lights over and start harassing, basically. Um, he has almost nothing on this side here. So we're happy to just move forward. With these uh, Scutatoi nurtures being raw, it's like especially it would paramount that we uh, take our time engaging, I think. But again, with the lack of with the lack of lights and overall, you know, I mean, he does have a decent amount of bowmen, but a lot of these are crossbows. I think we're going to be able to uh, kind of torture him a little bit <laughs> uh, with these with these lights. But I mean, that's kind of what they're there for, right? All right, uh, look, feeling good about this it's always always a good feeling it's always good for confidence to to have a wider line than your opponent although uh that can be sort of false confidence at times uh but yeah gotta hold on the right on the left and we'll be a little bit more aggressive and we'll see how he reacts next turn Okay. He's pushing his knights and sergeants incredibly heavily over onto this flank. 
where he has almost no support. I would like to think that this is going to end in disaster for the knights, but uh, we'll see about that. I'm going to swing wide with these Byzantine Lancers as well as these Nomad Horse Archers. I'm not particularly worried about a couple of knights against this mass of uh, <laughs> lights, basically. And with the Klibanophroi as well, uh, we're just in a really good position to handle this, I think. In terms of the rest of the line, I mean, he does have these light crossbows, but I'm not super worried about those. The light archers are a little bit more of a threat, but just just due to his composition here and the fact that he's uh, covering with so many like units in the front, like it's not a it's not a pure checkerboard in the traditional sense. Uh, some of these units are going to have difficulty concentrating. But we'll go ahead and uh, take the first volley here. Nice, got the disruption. We'll get these uh, light javelins up and running as well. Get these Byzantine lancers moving as well. Just, just to get into a position where if they do want to push these Skutatoi, you know, they're going to have to push through them, but we're going to have something on the flank potentially to uh, cause them problems. Something else I like the idea of is uh, kind of moving these knights up to zone out these dismounted knights. That could work very well. Um, Although, obviously, with the knights in front, his missile units do get a little bit more value and could potentially be a problem, so... Uh, I, I do this with, like, a slight amount of hesitation. <laughs> I, think, I think a big question, too, is uh, how much do I, do I want to move here? Like, the, the more these dismounted knights have to overextend, the better it is for us. And we can deal with so much of this this line, like, that aren't archers and crossbows, like, pretty, pretty well, just due to the fact that, uh, we don't have to actually, like, face them in contact. But I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll draw the line just one above this uh, rough ground here. We'll keep these knights in the center as well. Uh, trebuchet? What's the range on this thing? Not quite as long as we would have hoped, but that's okay. It's kind of the problem with siege weapons. Uh, we'll see if he realizes that this is suicide or if he's just gonna like charge into it to be uh, while I'm using also a kind of worry for him <laughs> if he does that. All right next turn As I kind of predicted here, his uh, his inefficient checkerboard kind of led into a situation where he's shooting at lights with light crossbows, which is less than ideal, and the rest of his massed archers aren't really contributing to this fight at all. He's got a little bit of congestion here, which is good for us. Yep, he goes for the slingers in the rough, that's fine. The trap is closing, I would say. Uh, we're gonna get these lights ready to engage. If I'm not mistaken, he's only got four, so one, two, three. I guess he could charge on this unit. Yeah, we'll just do that so we're out of range. 
since these are the earlier knights, they're a little bit better at uh, running things down. And then let's go ahead and try to disrupt these light archers. It's eight. It didn't trigger a check. How badly did we want these to disrupt? <laughs> That's the question. Shoot at him with the trebuchet. You know what? Let's do it. Nice! Hey! Got a disruption. Alright. <laughs> We're dispersed. There's no way they can hit all of us. Alright. Um, let's see. Continue. Uh, just get a frag on these light archers for free? Maybe? Not for free. For two shots. Okay, they hold. That's fine. And then get these knights into position as they are going to begin to cause us a couple of issues here potentially. Now we're gonna take this rough. And then we're very content to just kind of sit here, I think. Uh, let's turn to face them, maybe. Get full arc next turn, potentially. Uh, and then the rest of these skitatoi, we are pretty happy with their positioning. Uh, the best that these can hope to do against these uh, dismounted knights is to just hold for a little bit longer. Um, but I think that that's a task that they're certainly up to. Now, this is just this is just so juicy. So these heavier cav can only... well, they're not heavier cav, I guess. Technically speaking. Uh, can only go like full diagonal like I want to say three tiles at most. So, turn on our grid here. One, two, three. One, two. These slingers are in charge range. So, probably what we want to do. I mean, I would love to shoot these light archers, but they are definitely like out of our arc, unfortunately. And we already uh, disrupted them anyway. So, I think probably what we do instead is relocate them to here and yeah this is just if he doesn't uh back off of this i don't, I don't know man that's <laughs> i wouldn't walk into this but uh we'll see what he does uh get these clips just a little bit closer um as he does not have the firepower anymore to disrupt them since we got rid of these lights and i don't think one needed a crossbows is enough to disrupt so the lights doing their jobs excellently uh we're also going to move these horse archers up a little bit more and once these, like, dismounted knights and spearmen and stuff get involved, uh, we'll move the knights and sergeants up so that he can't really, like, charge into them at all. Um, but we've also got these Varangian Guard, which I believe, yeah, well-armored versus armored, highly superior versus average. Oh, these are armored defensive spears. Yeah, these will definitely go down to the Varangians, uh, even without a general, pretty, pretty easily there. And then... I'm trying to think if there's a way, like, if he if he pushes into uh, some of these units that we could cause him problems, but I don't think that there necessarily is at the moment. So we're just going to leave our lights up here, distracting, delaying uh, this front while we hopefully push in where we heavily outnumber him and just completely delete this group of knights with, uh, hopefully, not too much trouble. Uh, do I want to move this line at all? I don't think so. Maybe these Varangians will move up, and then just two more for the Skutatoi. Alright, let's see what he does. Next turn. Does get a flank charge on some of my lights. It's unfortunate. Okay, the other still turn though. That's good. Oh no. <laughs> Those javelin men are gonna beat a nasty grizzly end as well. Let's take a look here. Well, 
Uh, as we hoped, uh, we're in a situation now where we can start shooting at these knights. See if we can't get a few disruptions. Okay, two of them hold firm. It's uh, three successful checks there. Well, that is what you pay for knights for, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can... Yes. Okay, get a frag on those lights at least. Alright, how do we want to handle this situation? So, I mean, obviously these lights are probably just going to break like this turn. Yeah. Okay, I think the lights hold firm, so that's fine. Uh, we could move our Varangians here to prepare them for doing fun things next turn against these armored uh, spearmen. I think that could work. Let's see. Go ahead and uh, set these uh, other cab up to potentially engage these knights next turn. Alright, we got some full arc shots on these knights. Let's see if we can make something happen. Still don't trigger a check. Alright, come on. Can we hold firm? To uh, be expected, I suppose. We move our knights here, he doesn't have a way to shoot them immediately to, you know, get them to stop, basically. So I'm kind of partial to doing this, as that would uh, delay these two dismounted knights and sergeants. As for the rest of the line... I think we gotta start swinging these uh, Byzantine lancers over this way. Problem is they're not getting their free turn because they're out of general range, so at least I think that's what's going on here. Let's see command range. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. Switch it over to these knights. Yeah, there we go. So if we move He's like in general range, right? Okay. We'll take that turn there. turn these units as well, keeping, uh, continually delaying contact with these Rasku Tatoi. I mean, these these only exist to uh, kind of be a buffer between uh, his line and mine. And apart from that, I guess we could take some free shots at these Armored Spearmen. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And then maybe continue to hold these clibs in a reserve, because probably what he's going to want to do next turn is charge these uh, horse archers. So see what he does in response to this. Next turn. Those who are charged with the dismounted knights uh, disrupts and we fall back allowing us to get our impact again next turn. Not sure what he was planning with that. Um, to be perfectly honest, uh, maybe he didn't know that knights just like bounce like that. I don't know. It's a, it's a thing that took me a long time to learn. Uh, him running off those lights like that, pretty bad for him. He is going to take these light javelins out, but um, <laughs> uh, really liking this situation that we have now, right? Let's see what he's doing over here. He's going for some shots on the Varangians, not really uh, having much success. And yeah, he's going to charge after some of these units, but we were far enough away that we were able to evade, and now these units are completely, like, in the trap. Like, to the point where, uh, 
you know, if we're able to get a disruption on some of these units, they're just going to probably, like, completely and utterly full. But we'll do that in a moment. I'm more interested in this situation here, so... Uh, obviously, we can't flank charge on these knights, because we don't have a means to yet. Now, these uh, Byzantine Lancers do really, really well on the impact against uh, crossbowmen. So, I'm tempted to try that. The knights... Potentially what we could do as well is, you know, well, <laughs> for example, uh, as much as I would love to auto-drop these knights, what's going to happen is this melee is going to break these javelin men anyway, and then probably what we'll want to end up doing is moving to here, going for the charge, hopefully they stick, they do not stick, that's okay, because we're going to do this instead. We go for the uh, flank charge with the uh, knights and sergeants. I don't think there's a way he can prevent this flank charge from happening, because even if he zones this tile here, I think we can just ride around to here and still get a flank charge off. So, uh, feeling pretty good about that. Um, and let's think about what we want to do with the rest of our army here. So, the Scutatoi no longer have uh, any protection, so we're <laughs> going to have them start running, as you do. Uh, the full Scutato here, I'm not as convinced on. Uh, I think the sacrifice of this one here is more than sufficient to uh, kind of stave off the rest here. Happy to give this unit away so that the rest of these can escape and, and you know, get our route percentage because most of our army is concentrated over here, and if we just evade in this part of the flank here, um, we'll be looking much better, I think. Uh, we'll be saving ourselves some much-needed route points. Now, big question here, do we go for the flank or the uh, cycle charge on these dismounted knights? I mean, it couldn't hurt, I guess. Okay, we win the melee, or win the impact, but he does not break. Now, we're up. 75 POA here. But I don't know if we want to take this charge yet. Because we don't have a way of really capitalizing on it. Something we may want to consider doing instead is shooting these defensive spears and then attempting to push through. Conversely, we could continue trying to uh, terrorize these knights uh, now that they are within, you know, full arc of us and stuff. Let's go ahead and give that a try with these light archers. So see what we roll. Roll a nine. We'll move here, threaten his flank, and turn. Let's turn and shoot with these units. Okay, we do get the disruption. Let's see, can we... Yeah, we can move to there, turn and shoot. And then let's give these light archers some, some work to do here. Okay, they hold firm again, but they don't have significant casualties yet, I'm pretty sure, so... See if we can get them to there. And if not to significant casualties, I think they're almost down to 75%. So, let's see. 75% uh, of 180 is like... like so we're looking at like 25%, so that would be 18 times 25. It's like 50-ish casualties. It's like, it's super, super close. I think if we take this shot, we might disrupt. There we go. Uh, now the Byzantine Lancers, losing on impact for the time being, but winning still in the melee. Um, it's only a 17% loss, so I'm kind of tempted to try that. And since we've got this unit zoned out, we're going to go ahead and just move to here. Since he can't cross that zone of control, we'll go ahead and start turning. And then we'll think about what we want to do for the rest of the units here. So we've got two disruptions. It's awesome. It's a good start. Uh, question is, can we get any more? So unfortunately, these Klib and Afro are in a position where uh, they are not able to like support necessarily. So let's try to fix that. Go ahead and get them set up here. Uh, move to here to zone the defensive spearmen out. And let's see. 
Yeah, unfortunately these slingers unable to do anything else this turn. I think we go for this unit because, and this is going to sound absolutely insane, these Ice Insurgents have 10 fewer men, which means in theory they are easier to disrupt. <laughs> so let's go for it, see what happens. Get the high roll here to get it. Yeah, it's 14. We needed like 18 probably, so. But that's okay. Uh, it gets them set up better for next turn, so uh, hopefully that ends up coming to fruition. Okay, we got a couple of lights here still that we can manage. Um, I don't think we're interested in... Yeah, we're not interested in shooting at these armored spearmen. Uh, they're never going to disrupt, basically. So uh, probably what we do instead is we go for these light crossbowmen. Just try to get some value out of these uh, light jab ones. Awesome. And then go ahead and move these here. Well, maybe maybe here instead. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll try that. We'll try that tile. All right. Let's see what happens next go. Um, let's go ahead and zone out these knights. Since they're disrupted now. And there we go. Next turn. Shoots with the frag lights onto the clibs, and yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna break you're not gonna shatter that or disrupt that. <laughs> Oh, he charges with his knights on my clibs, and he manages to get the disruption. Having that general one really helps him. Uh, these two Tatoi are going to get absolutely mulched, as we would expect. Pushes off some of the lights. Those archers run. No surprise there, I suppose. Alright, uh, for starters, shatter these crossbows. Pretty easy decision there. They break instantly. Good job. And, uh, <laughs> we're, we're gonna keep running with these scoots, is what we're gonna do. I think what we'll do in the meantime is uh, keep trying to disrupt these light crossbows. Good job. Uh, try to get these lights somewhere useful, and then let's see. Hold on. I want to get them out of the way, and then <laughs> run away, little scoots. <laughs> get out of there. All right, and well. Hmm. Now this is a curious situation. We uh, could turn and shoot here, and then we could actually charge this unit of uh, cross spears. Okay, they hold firm. That's okay. If he wants to charge into these and then charge across, that's you know his prerogative. And let's see. How do we want to handle this situation? This is getting a little messy. Hmm. Well, for starters, we are winning this contact here. Although if they rally, we're going to be in big trouble. Let's see if we can get a disruption with these uh, lights. Okay, no dice. Okay, they can't bounce off if they lose that one, so we're not going to do it. Let's see. And then let's see if we can't disrupt these knights and sergeants as well. Really, a whole lot of room to maneuver here, sadly. And we can turn and shoot here. We actually zone him out, um, so we don't need to um, charge him this turn, even. Oh, we get the disruption there. That's beautiful, honestly. Uh. Okay, I think if we charge here, we don't actually uh, count as getting a flank with this unit next turn, so... Alright, let's think about the rest of these situations. So, I'm definitely... let's see... Definitely in favor of sending these lights forward. Let's go for the 60% win here. Okay, doesn't get it. And... 
not really much else we can do here for the time being. Uh, however, these knights and sergeants are or moderately disordered. Try to go ahead and shoot them. And then things looking a little bit grim for these Rangian guard. But we'll see how that turns out for them. Uh, yeah, these scoots gonna get absolutely crushed, but that's okay. This was always it's supposed to be a delaying action. And getting draws here is actually good value for this unit. <laughs> Um, which is kind of funny. Uh, we, we do have 5% combat strength mod on him, so, you know, woo, good for good for that. Good job. Uh, I don't remember how many casualties we just got on these knights. But we could try, very quickly, to shoot with this trebuchet and get a disruption on these knights. I, I like that idea. I'm not sold on it yet, though. I think this is something we do for sure though, is we go here because this sets up an auto drop for next turn. Let's let's see if we let's see if we hold for the turn uh, that we're on now. Okay we do. So we're gonna move these uh, horse archers here. These knights and sergeants are zoned out. And let's go yeah, let's go ahead and since we're in full arc, shoot these knights and sergeants, see what happens. Oh they hold firm. <laughs> That means it did trigger a check. Oh, that's funny. Okay, all right. 90% chance to lose here. Don't lose. Good job. Uh, we're down to 15% down to for next turn, though. Really need these units to rally, uh, ideally, next turn. Uh, but we'll, we'll see if that even happens. Um, so, yeah. Uh, interesting development so far. I feel in control of the situation, but uh, that could very easily change uh, momentarily here. Um... I think we're going to take these lights and start moving around the sides. Um, as you probably want to do with lights, since they're so mobile. And yeah, we'll see what happens next turn. Next turn. Okay, those rally, that's uh, rather unfortunate. Oh, okay, a little bit of a mistake from him there. He <clears throat> charges with the flank unit first. He should have charged with the spears first and gone for the auto drop. Alright. Okay. Let's frag and fall back. That's fine. Take a break. Press where you to hold firm. That's fine. Okay, these scoots are gonna die. <laughs> it's just, it's gonna happen, you know. It's the raw archers involved, which is interesting. I mean, I guess why not, right? Clibs uh, rally, it's excellent. Okay, uh, first things first, we definitely. Uh, well, let's see. I think the obvious thing here is to just go for this auto break. Okay, the break, go for the. That's not a flank charge, curiously. That's fine. Uh, definitely go for the shots with these slingers, see if we can't break these knights. Doesn't it just make you sad when you watch them lose that many units all at once? Okay, they hold firm on the impact. That's interesting. Come on, there we go. Okay, that's another break. Now, we are slowly winning some of these. This is a little sketchy, though. <laughs> this could go either way, honestly. Now, this is not a good situation. We are going to turn. Uh, we will send these lights over here to begin uh, going for some of these units back here. Uh, these Rankin's actually losing in melee to the dismounted knights. Just because of their general, I guess. Yeah. Well, we could transfer. He doesn't have an auto drop. Well, actually, he does have an auto drop. Those defensive spheres are just going to go for it next turn. Um, I'm uh, going to keep on Benny Hilling away from this situation. And here, I mean, it's we either cycle charge or we just keep getting shot. We do get the disruption. That's interesting. Now, is there anywhere we can shoot, potentially? I mean...
I don't think we have enough to inflict a drop on these knights. Let's see. Because we would need 15-ish kills? Okay, that's 9. With the clibs shooting as well, this might get a drop? Nice. That's huge. That's huge. Might be able to frag him next turn, too. It just depends. Uh, keep on winning this combat with the clibs. Uh, these these units are going to get absolutely destroyed, but they are doing an excellent job at wasting his time, which is exactly what I wanted them to do, so that works. Uh, these Lancers are no longer just uh, pursuing. Hopefully these Knights also soon uh, stop pursuing. Um, I'm going to shoot these Light Crossbows. I mean, it feels wasteful, but I just want to be able to break them, honestly. Just get him out of here. That's fine. Great. Alright. Uh, looking good still for us in the meantime. Uh, these Varangians sadly gonna lose this. And I don't want to general them because he's about to uh, get flank charged anyway. So I just don't see much point. In, I don't see much value in doing that. These Varangians are just gonna... They're gonna get killed, but very slowly. And thankfully, these... Uh, <laughs> These knights are now severely disordered, and we're gonna give them, we're gonna give them some shots, I think. Just to uh, throw some salt in the wound here. That way they're a little bit easier to auto-drop next, or I'll get a, not, not auto-drop, uh, get a cohesion test next turn with a shot, so. Now what do I want to do with these horse archers? I suppose we could move back up this way, and there would be some value in threatening an auto drop if he decides to charge into these clibs. So I think we're gonna go for that. It's it's gonna take a turn to get there, but I think that that also has some value. All right, am I missing anything? Nope, that's it. Next turn. Okay, those knights did rally. I was afraid of that. Those lights rally, but who cares? Yeah, these scoots are just gonna die. <laughs> Slowly, but definitely gonna die. Ross scoots leads to the uh, Ross spears. Continues to pursue my Ross scoots. Very interesting choice by him. Yep, gets the flank of those brain games. Figured that would happen. Uh, they do hold firm. Uh, one of the perks of being highly superior, of course. Okay, those are probably gonna... Oh, they hold. Lose a melee with the clibs. Okay. Oh, we hold steady. Other knights. Okay, those horse archers frag. That's really bad. But we're winning with the other units. Okay, they hold firm. These are these are a penalty break, I would I would say. Um, let's see if these units break and if so what happens. Okay, that's fine. Alright, um, we are not going to be able to turn around and charge these archers like we maybe would have hoped, I think. Instead, what our move is gonna be is to get these uh, horse archers out of harm's way. Uh, I will charge these lights. They can probably evade, but let's see what happens. Okay, they do get away. Uh, and let's let's prep to do some shooting on these crossbows. I mean, why not, right? Um, is there any way we can disrupt these dismounted knights or frag them? Doesn't appear so, unfortunately. All right, let's go for the uh, charge here. Okay, they do hold firm. Tragically. Uh, and now. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. What we need to do is turn these scoots in such a way that we can set up an auto drop. But there's a problem, which is that these knights are coming in. So I don't know that we're going to be able to do much about that. Uh, don't think these lancers are in range yet, unfortunately, either. And our full strength knights are still pursuing these crossbows, sadly. Not much to be done there. Um...
Let's try to frag these knights, shall we? Get that trebuchet firing. Come on. Awesome. That's a frag. We can break those next turn with our various lights, unless he pushes them off. Um... So the, the, the problem here is we would love to get an auto drop on these armored spears. However, uh, these crossbows are in the perfect position to prevent us from doing that. I think what we would be interested in doing is getting these slingers involved, right? And giving the light crossbow something to shoot at while we set up a flank. I think that would be the correct play here. Otherwise, he can just move up and cause some havoc that way. But you know, these clibs are fine just holding here. These can't charge us. He doesn't have any missile units he's immediately using. Um, okay, we are, we are, we are supposed to be winning this melee with these clibs. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Take a quick second to think about this. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn and start shooting with these Rascutatoi. Uh, we're not gonna get a disruption on these armored spears, but it is worth noting that he is in a terrible, like awful position here. In the sense that uh, he can't charge us next turn, and neither can these regular dismounted knights. And what we've created now is a situation where. We outnumber him, and these scoots, I mean, they are raw, so if he charges us, there is a chance he could beat us, but there's also a chance we could win by auto-dropping him. Uh, especially these armored spears, these aren't going to do super hot against uh, these raw sc scootatoi. Um, the dismounted knights will do just fine, but we might be able to flank and get these armored spears instead. Uh, and then we're going to do something kind of cheeky here. Um, we are going to... See, this is where I'm still unsure is, uh, let's say he moves here next turn. If he does that, I think, I think our plan here is to just turn one like that. Yeah, I think, that, I think I like that. And then, if we move these slingers here, where can we go? The answer is not a whole lot of places, unfortunately. Well, <laughs> I guess they're bait now, huh? Alright, that's fine. Uh, maybe what we could do is uh, prep to charge these lights next turn with the light horse. That could potentially cause some problems. Uh, so I like that idea. Um, I did think about potentially setting up an auto drop with these armored spears, but the issue with that is he would be able to move in with his, his crossbows and zone me out. Whereas here in this situation, uh, we are able to continually uh, cycle charge him. Now granted, these might rally, and if so, I mean, we're just we're just doomed at that point, but, uh, you know, for the time being, this could potentially work. Uh, we'll get these light archers shooting into the armored spears as well. Just trying to thin their numbers out so they can have a little bit less uh, power in the melee against our Rascutatoi. Anything else I could do this turn? I mean, not particularly right. Um, we could charge. We could charge this unit. On the other hand, I kind of don't want to. Because we might get stuck in the rough with our clibs, which we do not want. That would be terrible, obviously. Uh, so we're just going to leave it as is, since he's unable to charge with these armored spears. Uh, let's see what happens to our Varangians here. Oh, I should have taken that one first, but that's okay. We hold. And we hold. All right. Uh, how many units are these down to? Looks like 222, so we're not quite to halfway yet, uh, but I imagine these will break in the next turn or two. Um, 
My guess with these Byzantine Lancers is most likely how we're going to use them is we're going to charge into the, uh, like, the this section here, eventually, once we get there. Okay, those knights are still in pursuit. Any units I'm forgetting. These light javelins. So, we could take a gamble here. And we could see if he's interested in charging these light javelins. If he does, these units uh, might get destroyed. But in doing so, we stop the knights from rejoining this section here. Thus potentially allowing us to get more value. Alright, uh, let's take these melees. I imagine these units are going to break very quickly here. Okay, the scoots disrupt and fall back. Okay, losing. And they break. They auto break. That's fine. Hey, I mean, if they auto broke, you know, that means they definitely got their values worth. Alright, uh. And I think that that's it. Honestly, yep. Turn. Okay, finally get those knights back. It's gonna be a while before they get back into the, uh. Bailey to do anything, unfortunately. Okay, he charges those raw scoots again. That's fine. Okay, pushes off, and oh, that's. <laughs> that's perfect. Okay, Brangan's gonna break. Oh, the hold for one more turn. Okay, those uh, nomads do break. Otherwise, we'd hold turn now. Okay, finally disrupt and auto break on those knights. Send some shooting, which is fine. He did exactly what I wanted him to do, which was to go after the light javelins with his knights. So we're just going to leave. <laughs> Charge me if you dare, sir. Alright, uh, now however... I think we can go for a disruption on these armored spears, potentially. Maybe not, but... Let's see. We have a 91% to win on the charge here. I think we should just go for it. If he attacks the trebuchet next turn, that's honestly fine. I don't care. Uh, now, in terms of what we want to do with these nomads... Yeah, let's just go for the charge here. Let's see what happens. Okay, then we'll burn. That's alright. Um, do we want, I think I know exactly what we do here, uh, we're going to set up an auto drop next, for next turn on these dismounted knights, we'll go ahead and shoot them even, just to drive the point home. Okay, those nomad horse archers are still out of action. Which is fine. Uh, let's go ahead and charge into these lights. Get a break. Maybe. Nope, they hold. That's fine. And go for the break on the Knights and Sergeants. Take our final shot with the Trebuchet. Most likely. Oh, they held firm. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, let's go ahead and run down these light archers as well. Um, they do have a flank on us there, but I'm not super worried about it. Let's go ahead and shoot on the knife and search. Oh my gosh, they're still holding. Come on. Get out of here. There we go. Took the half arc and we're fine. Uh, really love to get one of these uh, other units back. Uh, don't think it's going to happen immediately, unfortunately. And, I mean, like, we're slowly winning this melee, but it's it's gonna take a minute before it's uh, really gonna pan out in our favor. Oh, yeah, these Varangans are gonna go. And let's see, probably... 
think probably what we want to do with these Byzantine Lancers is uh, consider reforming with these knights up here to either go and uh, engage this unit of knights or... Yeah, because we're not going to be having very many melees over here, so... Yeah, let's, let's have them rejoin these knights and have them go after this unit of knights here. Or potentially some of these juicy uh, infantry back here. Um, we'll see how that ends up working out, but looking really good here. We've got two auto drops set up potentially, and even though these are raw units, um, that could be really huge for us. We've even got a unit of light archers here. We're going to uh, prepare to send forward to potentially force these units to stay in melee uh, as well. So feeling good about that. Uh, do we lose here? Nope, the Rot Scoots hold on for just another round. Uh, let's watch these Varangians die. There they go. Okay, the Nomads hold firm. Might get charged now. Let's see. And what do we want to do with these Slingers? I mean, I guess we could just set up a charge. Uh, these are like crossbows next turn and also uh, zone to control them at the same time. Okay, any units? That's all we got for this turn. So hopefully next turn this will be kind of a decisive uh, moment for us. Although obviously these are still uh, dismounted knights, so it may not be the easiest thing in the world. Plus, you know, it's going to depend what he does with these dismounted knights. He's probably going to attack the trebuchet because he's going to think like, oh, free trebuchet. When what he probably should do is get the nomads. But on the other hand, uh, he's, he's kind of doomed either way, right? Um, as a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, we're going to turn this unit this way, and he can't zone us out anymore. And even if he disrupts us, we can charge in and either get these dismounted knights or charge into this uh, section here and cause problems for these spearmen as well. Alright, let's see what happens. Next turn. Archers, they frag, attack, charges them, they evade. Let slingers get charged. Okay, frag the light archers. These run scoots, holding firm for now. for the trebuchet. Okay, those lights break. Okay, um... I think we go for the flank on these knights and sergeants. They do frag. any way we disrupt this. If we get like the full 20 from this, like maybe there's a chance. Okay, no disruption. Uh don't think there's a way around that either unfortunately. Let's uh, charge these light like, crossbows in the flank. Evade, that's fine. Frag on these uh, dismounted knights. Okay, the trebuchet is disrupt. That's fine. Move these light archers, horse archers out of the way. Uh, these Byzantine lancers set them up, set themselves up perfectly here. We're gonna get that flank charge on. These knights still firm for now, but they can't do that forever. Not like this. Uh, let's see. Should get the flank here. Excellent. Horse Archer is ready to flank next turn. He has no way of stopping the zone. Uh, I think we're going to block these lights in. 
we got the hole for one turn, which is all I need. So now we can get in and turn and uh, flank those crossbow the next turn. Uh, these slingers are looking like they're in a great place. The frag and fall back, they're gonna get pushed off probably next turn. Uh, we're gonna hold here for now. Because he might use those spears to push off the slingers, if so they might pursue. Um, I mean, I guess there's not really a reason for us. I just don't like being hard zocked here, but maybe it's fine. We'll oh, shoot, we got low on them. Oh, actually, you know what? That was a mistake, because now he can charge these and, and uh, they'll stick, although I wonder if he'll see that. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Thankfully, these knights are going to break soon anyway, so these might be able to evade soon, but yeah, that was, that was an oopsie, for sure. But, hey, if he doesn't notice it, it's not actually an oopsie, is it? <laughs> okay, and I would say at this point, this is looking rather grim for him. Uh, because next turn, um, what we'll be able to do is, if, the, if these knights hold, which there's a good chance that they will, um, we'll be able to charge him with these scoots, and set up a auto drop here, and then get a flank on here, potentially roll up the whole line. Um, which would be really, really good. Uh, remove these horse archers over here as well, because they may be able to do something about these knights. Let's watch these speeds continue to get murdered. Oh, hey, they actually held, they, uh, held for a really long time here. Granted, these are against raw spears, so, uh, you know, not exactly a quick engagement anyway, but looking really, really good here. Uh, I think we're definitely going to come out of this ahead, because uh, we have several auto drops set up for next turn. So that should be the end of it. Probably another turn or two, I would imagine. Maybe a little bit more than that. Next turn. Various units just going for their lives. <laughs> okay. Those archers hold. Those lights. Those other slingers break. Raw suits auto break. I mean, hey, you definitely got some value if they're auto breaking, right? Interesting uh, path on those knights. Let's see. So, okay, frag on those knights. Probably, hopefully, gonna break this turn. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna get these light javelins out of the way. We're gonna turn and zone these knights out. I'm not sure if I want to shoot them yet or not. I think I will just in case. Uh, there's a situation where we might be able to take advantage of shooting them. Uh, let's see if these... Well, what I'm gonna do is specifically I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Try to break. We're gonna break these dismounted knights because they're a lot scarier. They they are much more likely to rally than the other uh, unit. But the armor spears frag. It's excellent. Okay, they break. The knights disrupt. Oh my goodness! It's like an ideal situation there. It's wild. Uh, and we'll just prep to get in and shoot these knights next turn. Hopefully, frag them. These lights ready to get involved as well. These, this trebuchet might still break. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, let's go ahead and get the auto drop on these crossbows. Okay, they hold firm, but uh, that might not be a lasting statement for them. We'll see. All right, let's go ahead and try to get the win here on these knights. Finally, break. Okay, go for the flank charge on these knight on these archers. The archers hold firm, but uh, probably can't sustain that for too long. If I would, if I had to guess. Okay, uh, presumably he's going to start moving these defensive spears around. But at this point, the damage is done. I would say. As for what to do with the rest of the line, well, to me it looks like we've got. 
multiple units of, of foot archers that we can take advantage of. So uh, these knights can go after these crossbows. These Byzantine lancers can go after these crossbows. We're going to transfer the general actually to these Byzantine lancers as the knights should have no issue taking on either these raw spears or these crossbowmen. Whereas the Byzantine lancers, we'd want to have a better chance. And yeah, pretty good turn for us there. Uh, breaking this much foot all in one go. These dismounted knights are on the way out. Can we just move here and shoot those? No, sadly. <laughs> That's a shame. All right. Uh, what do I want to do here? Is there anything we can do that's useful with this unit? I mean, not particularly. Maybe we just move back one and shoot. Not that it really matters much, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, checking to make sure we're not missing any units. These archers are unprotected, so there's a little bit more value in, in shooting them. In hindsight, I maybe could have moved these light javelins up to shoot them as well. Could have gotten a disruption potentially, but uh, too late now, I think. But that's okay. We're gonna just continue moving here and try to get some value out of some of these units. Uh, these light javelins, let's go ahead and just move them closer to get ready to harass as well. Have these nomads just wait here in the wings, and we'll see what happens next turn. Next turn. does. Okay, still no break on these dismounted knights. Kind of unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, we want to move here and turn and shoot on these knights. Don't think we want to entertain long-range shooting. However, we can do this. They hold firm. Let's see. Let's just do some stationary long range shooting with scoots. Don't normally like doing this, but uh, it can be worthwhile in a situation like this. You can get to significant casualties. Inflicted. Okay, he holds despite uh, minus three. That's fine, probably because he's superior. Let's go ahead and move these knights here, get ready to charge these crossbows. And similarly here, let's move here, get ready to charge into all these uh, lighter units. Let's try to break these archers, I think they break. Uh, didn't immediately go after the crossbows, but that's okay because they break anyway. Okay, light horse, uh, frag, that's fine. Okay, trebuchet breaks. I go ahead and uh, turn and prep a charge on these dismounted knights. We might frag anyway, but it's okay if so. At this point, I'm ready to charge these frontally with these nomad light horse, just to get these off the field. Now, if these break at the end of his turn, and my Nomad Light Horse somehow hold on, which doesn't seem likely, um, this is looking like game relatively soon. So, 
to prepare ourselves for that, I suppose. Okay. And what am I gonna do with these light archers? They got low ammo, so we're not expecting much out of them, if anything. I'll just take some pot shots at these crossbows. Doesn't really matter at this point. And are we forgetting anything? We've got these light archers, but I suppose I could have shot at the uh, archers, not the regular archers there, but it's okay. Rotate these light javelins, maybe have them shoot something next turn. That light horse is good to go. Alright, uh, this might be game next turn, if not, should be able to close this out within a turn or two. Next turn! Okay, his knights rally. I might go for a charge on our lancers, but if he does that, we get a flank charge on him. Okay, charge into the dismounted knights and the stick for some reason. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but fair enough. Yeah, I guess he either doesn't see the flank or he doesn't care one way or the other. Okay, he does get the frag on those uh, horse archers. Oh, no way. <laughs> it's so lucky for him. These uh, horse archers bogging down the, uh, the approach here. It's brutal. Alright. Alright, well, let's see. Go ahead and turn these uh, clibs. He's doubtless going to try to charge them next turn. Uh, but I don't know that he can surround anymore with us turned like this, so looking good there. Uh, yeah, these are gonna lose and hopefully bounce. Yeah, thank you. And let's see, we'll go ahead and start moving these lancers this way. So we need to zone out these raw spears so that next turn we can flank charge these knights. Uh, let's see if these dismounted knights finally break. Okay, let's go for the charge. Still no break. Alright. Sure. <laughs> I mean. Okay. And unfortunately, we are going to get flank charge next turn, so let's think about what we want to do here. Move these light javelins up, get these uh, horse archers out of the way. And start circling these horse archers back around. Get sensible. Okay, those are on low ammo. These are on low ammo. Lots of low ammo units. Still, even with low ammo, pretty good shots on these archers, just because they're uh, unprotected. Might be able to get a disruption. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, let's go ahead and get in here and shoot these crossbows. Okay. Maybe this will get the disruption. Oh, I didn't think so. And then can't reach with these uh, raw spears, so that's fine. Even melee here, uh, their higher sword POA is being cancelled out by our general as well as our uh, combat strength. So, good stuff there. Yeah, these, these uh, dismounted knights holding rather uh, heroically, it must be said. We'll see if uh, they actually somehow manage to like make it, but you know, every turn that they don't rally, we're gonna charge back in and uh, Give them a little bit more trouble. Alright. 
Uh, sure. Let's go ahead and give some javelins to these crossbows as well. Half arc shooting, not ideal, but what can you do? And I think what we'll do here with these knights is set up a flank in this location specifically. Um, he can't turn and zone us out with these raw spears, and he's zoned out with these raw scoots anyway. I guess he could move his archers here. But then we can just charge into them and destroy them with the knights, so... Either way, it's looking pretty good for us here still. And let's see, these archers are still fragged. And yeah, we'll see what happens in a turn from now. Next turn. Okay, these archers actually rally there. Okay, this meant a nice rally as well. Chases off, flank charges the sergeant. Pretty bad. Does charge the cliffs, these run up on <laughs> little, little pot shot there. It's funny. Yeah, pushes off the javelins. Oh, he actually gets the pursuit there. That's fine. Alright, uh... I think the obvious choice here is to get the flank on these knights. And we'll go ahead and get stuck in here. Because there is some chance that these are going to uh, start pursuit next turn. Okay, uh, we actually are losing a melee here against these crossbows, which is less than ideal. Let's see. Go ahead and move these uh, horse archers down. A couple turns. Let's see. Yeah. A couple turns we can get a flank potentially. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just move these archers off. Okay. Yeah, kind of an amazing turnaround here. These dismounted knights have just taken the beating and we're still just going. Uh, absolutely wild stuff. See if we can get a frag, maybe, on these, uh, on these archers. It's definitely possible. pursue here. Okay, let's break. And then I think that should be game, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's frag. Go ahead and charge here. I think that's fine. <laughs> Some more of our stuff breaking, unfortunately, from the uh, general dying there. Uh, fortunately, you know, stuff like that is going to happen at this point. Alright, that is going to buy him another turn or two. I still think we're going to uh, invariably close this out in a victory for us, but so interesting. If we just turn like that, we can't turn again, but if we turn like that, we can. Always interesting, the movement uh, system in this game. Okay, I wonder if we could, like, prep a charge on these light crossbows. Looking a little unlikely, though. Always flank charge these, I guess. Get okay, a disruption, that's nice. It's probably gonna zone us out next turn, but... That is potentially helpful. Uh, let's 
far as what we do with these clips. Um, I mean, shooting <laughs> still take our two casualties, but you know, it's not really doing much for us at this point. And we'll just uh, keep these in the diagonal formation here. And uh, hopefully these knights break over the next turn. And that should be game, because that'll put them at 60%. Next turn. Yeah, those light javelins break. Charges the clubs. They lose disrupt and then we stay in, which is funny. But those knights break. Interestingly, not a rear charge, but we disrupt anyway. Uh, we're at sixty percent though, so this should be over. Yep, and there we go. All right. Well, quite the interesting game that happened here, I'd say. Uh, love this matchup. Thought this was a super interesting one to play overall. We, on the Byzantine side, have this very cavalry-heavy force with a lot of these horse archers, these super interesting elite cataphracts. Uh, the Varangians, are their bo yeah, their bodies are still here on the field. Uh, great detail there. Uh, didn't do as much as we would have hoped. I mean, they did hold for a long time, so maybe in that sense they did, but... Uh, really just interesting situation here. Loved this, like, faint right where we were just like running away then as soon as these two units of uh, knights and spears were like exposed and and away from support we we turned on them and, and turned that situation around completely um that was that was one of my favorite moments of this whole thing uh also just showing off you know one unit of of clips you know this is the interesting thing to me about lancer cavalry is uh a lot of the time they're more useful for their defensive utility than they are for their offensive uh, if the enemy doesn't have projectile units, uh, I feel like Lancer Cav are just like just such a like deadly way to deal with infantry, just because they can't uh, get impact in, which makes the situation a lot more dangerous for them. So, uh, in terms of what he could have done better, looking looking back, I think uh, his checkerboard was not set up properly. So he, if we recall the start of the match here, had a like a large block of like four units here rather than the uh the single checker che checkerboard that you can do so like, just to like just like draw it here right so uh ideally you would want to have like kind of like a like a u-shape like if it's from your perspective you want to have like kind of this like u-shape um this and uh, ideally with some knights in reserve as well um what this checkerboard allows you to do is have you know pretty good heavy foot that are able to take shot and charges pretty well. And then anything that doesn't stick for the charge is going to bounce and then get shot by the uh, projectile units. It's also com almost completely unapproachable by cavalry heavy armies, just on account of the fact that if they do push into that, they're going to get shot. But again, because his checkerboard wasn't set up properly, we were pretty easily able to uh, push in here and get some work done, and then just delay where he wasn't. Uh, another huge mistake, obviously, uh, almost goes without saying, charging five knights into a mass of horse archers and light units is probably not the best idea. And in this instance, it would have behooved him to definitely like pull those knights back and not get involved here. The, the foot, ironically, would have done better with that mass of units uh, if he just like repositioned his line here rather than pushing his knights into that but anyway uh great match uh thank you to blaze 80 for this game this is probably this is one of my favorites so far i've played on online multiplayer and uh looking forward to more matches like this in the future for sure so thanks for watching everybody i'll see you on the next one